10 Secrets About Princess Diana No One Knew About Until After Her Death Princess Diana was a mysterious woman. While she shared more with the world than any other royal, including her struggles with mental health, we still barely knew anything about her personal life. Only after her tragic death in 1997 did the world start to discover more about her. In the years since her death, what's come to light is a shocking account of a complex woman living an extraordinarily difficult life. Princess Diana was bullied by the royal family, suffering through a loveless marriage, and felt burdened by mental health problems. Even now, we're still learning new things about Princess Diana's difficult life from the people closest to her. So without further ado, these are the top 10 secrets about Princess Diana no one knew about until after her death. Number 1. She Kept Secret Tapes and Diaries Throughout her tumultuous life, Princess Diana kept secret tapes and diaries. The most revelatory tapes were recorded when Princess Diana's marriage with King Charles III started to deteriorate. Princess Diana recorded her side of the story on dozens of Sony cassette tapes. These tapes span from 1992 to 1997. The early tapes formed the basis of the groundbreaking biography by Andrew Morton, Diana, her true story, in her own words. No one knew that Diana herself was a key contributor to the biography until after her death, when it became apparent that Morton's book was far more accurate than anyone realized. Many of the secrets that are unveiled here are from the book, Diana, her true story, in her own words. One of the highlights of Diana's secret tapes were the ones she made for the future wives of her sons, Prince Harry and William. Before she died, Princess Diana had a premonition she would die young and be unable to meet her future daughter-in-laws. So she took it upon herself to record secret tapes that would ultimately be given to Catherine Middleton and Meghan Markle. In the recordings, Diana offers motherly advice and talks about her hopes and dreams for her sons and their families. She wanted the tapes to help guide and protect her daughters-in-law. A close friend of Diana said it was so she could continue to be part of their lives even after she was gone. She thought it was quite clever and loved the idea of being what she called a nagging mum from beyond the grave. She found it quite amusing. Sadly, Princess Diana was right about her untimely death. Number 2. Her sister dated King Charles III. Sarah Spencer, Princess Diana's older sister, dated King Charles III first. Sarah Spencer briefly dated King Charles in 1977. During this time, he was dating several women known as Charlie's Angels in a desperate attempt to find his future wife. He was under increasing pressure to settle down and start a family. The Spencers were a reputable and respected family. Sarah Spencer was one of many women who caught King Charles III's eye. Reportedly, Sarah Spencer received a flattering stream of invitations to Windsor and Balmoral. According to Tatler, Sarah Spencer wasn't interested in King Charles at all. She just enjoyed having the attention of a senior royal. Sarah Spencer told reporters she would not marry the prince if he were a garbage man or the King of England. At one point during their brief relationship, Sarah Spencer invited King Charles III to their Althorpe estate. It's here that King Charles met the youthful and effervescent Princess Diana, and the rest is history. Number 3. The Queen Mother Employed Her Grandmother Princess Diana's grandmother, Ruth Fermoy, was one of the Queen Mother's employees. Ruth Fermoy was a lady-in-waiting for the Queen Mother. This is an honorable position that earned her the title of Woman of the Bedchamber. Ruth Fermoy personally assisted the Queen Mother with social engagements and administrative tasks. Essentially, Princess Diana's grandmother was the Queen Mother's right-hand woman. Number 4. She was related to King Charles III. This is probably one of the strangest secrets that were uncovered when Princess Diana died. Princess Diana and her ex-husband, King Charles III, were distantly related. Princess Diana and King Charles were 16th cousins once removed through King Henry VII. So, distant enough to not be incestuous, but closely related enough to be kept a secret during their relationship. Number 5. 
her relationship with King Charles III was passionless. In the secret tapes that were released after she died, Princess Diana discusses her passionless marriage. At one point, she called her wedding day in 1981 the worst day of her life. Princess Diana even talked at length about her strange sex life with King Charles III. She said, there was no requirement for sex from his case, sort of once every three weeks, and I kept thinking it followed a pattern. He used to see his lady Camilla once every three weeks before we got married. Princess Diana always knew that King Charles III never loved her. His one true love was always Camilla Parker Bowles. Queen Elizabeth II forbade him from marrying Parker Bowles because she was a divorcee and came from modest family background. Because of this, King Charles III married Princess Diana and kept Parker Bowles as his mistress. These secrets were unearthed and became public knowledge only after Princess Diana died. Number 6. She Snuck Into the Kitchen at Night Princess Diana often snuck into the kitchen at night to eat food and spend time with staffers. Diana had to keep her habit under wraps as it was a serious breach of royal protocol. Darren McGrady, her personal chef at Kensington Palace, said she would come into the kitchen at all hours, sit on the countertop, and snack on her favorite treats. As they chatted, McGrady even said Princess Diana would often make coffee for both of them. Darren McGrady only confessed to these late-night visits from Princess Diana after her death. He wanted to shine a light on how personable and down-to-earth the people's princess really was. Number 7. She had mental health problems. Tragically, Princess Diana suffered from several mental health problems. This was perhaps one of the saddest revelations from the secret audio tapes. In her recordings, Princess Diana said, I was so depressed and I was trying to cut my wrists with razor blades. She also talked at great length about her bulimia diagnosis. Princess Diana confessed it was exacerbated by King Charles III who often suggested she was getting chubby. Many people believe Princess Diana made so many late night trips to the kitchen because it was the only opportunity she got to eat in peace. The extent of Princess Diana's mental health problems was kept a secret until it was too late. Number eight, the paparazzi harassed her. The paparazzi constantly harassed Princess Diana. Before she died, no one really knew exactly how bad the paparazzi were. In the 2017 HBO documentary, Diana, Our Mother, Her Life and Legacy, Prince William talked of how traumatizing the paparazzi were. He said, If you're the Princess of Wales and you're a mother, I don't believe being chased by 30 guys on motorbikes who block your path, who spit at you to get a reaction from you, and make a woman cry in public to get a photograph is appropriate. Harry and I, we had to live through that. The paparazzi followed Princess Diana wherever she went, all day long. Unfortunately, they were the main cause of her premature death. On the morning of August 31st, 1997, Princess Diana left her hotel in Paris with her boyfriend, Dodi Fayed, and drove away in their Mercedes-Benz. The frantic paparazzi entourage ultimately caused the fatal crash in the Pont d'Alma tunnel that killed Princess Diana. Number 9. She Ruined Her Wedding Vows During her wedding vows, Princess Diana accidentally called King Charles III Philip Charles instead of Charles Philip. This tongue slip was completely forgotten until their wedding day videos were revisited after her death. According to insiders, Princess Diana was terrified during the ceremony and suffered from some serious anxiety about wedding day. She was only 20 years old after all. Number 10. She worried about Prince William and Harry. Princess Diana worried about her two sons, Prince William and Harry. She wanted them to live as normal a life as possible. She treated them to normal activities like trips to the theme park and McDonald's and even sent them to public school. After she and Charles got divorced, Princess Diana became increasingly worried about the boys' relationship with their father and the royal family as a whole. Princess Diana believed her sons would not be protected by the crown and feared they would be mistreated like she was. 
These secrets were exposed after her death through her tapes and diaries. Unfortunately, some of Princess Diana's worst fears were realized. Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, were mercilessly bullied by the Crown and the British tabloid press. This led to their decision to step down as senior members of the royal family. Do you know any more secrets about Princess Diana that no one knew about until after her death? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. See you next time!